Are you wondering why your gains are chugging along like they are driving on cruise control at a steady pace and putting in hours upon hours of work at the gym? Maybe you are not applying protein correctly. Protein and muscle are best friends, but not just any protein will give you the hot bod. Having sufficient amounts of high quality protein at the right times will bear more fruit with respect to adding muscle mass. Make sure to watch the demonstration video to really understand each opportune time you should be taking in protein and how you can maximize muscle growth. No matter how experienced a lifter you are, whether it's your first day in the gym or thousandth, these tips will help fill any gaps in knowledge that could help you progress towards cultivating more muscle mass. Stay tuned to find out how you can make the most of your every gram of protein. Protein is one of three macronutrients, but this macro plays an individual role in the construction of new muscle. Your muscles, for example, are composed of protein, which is a series of amino acids. The micro tiers are actually a result of resistance training, e.g. lifting weights, performing bodyweight exercises, and other forms of strength work, in which you intentionally break down muscle fibers in order for them to grow back stronger post-workout. Now, this may sound like a bad thing, but it also excites muscle growth as these micro tears rip apart your muscles. It triggers a repair mechanism and makes the muscle fibers larger and stronger. But the catch is that this runs on protein. Your body does not have the building blocks it has to rebuild and grow those muscles without enough protein in your diet. Lack of protein, less muscle recovery. When you do not meet your protein needs, then your muscles recover slower and you have less mass to gain. That is why bodybuilders and athletes rightly swear by protein in all imaginable variations as the central component of their training plans. Protein also assists in muscle retention and so long as you fully train your muscles at least two to three downtimes a week, prevents the breakdown of hard-earned muscle, even if in a caloric deficit, such as during fat loss phases. So what is the actual minimum need for protein? Why is it so potent in driving gains? And how can you be certain are you actually having this? Next sections are for machos only. We'll see first things first. How much protein is sufficient? What is perhaps the most argued point in all of fitness? Sport nutrition experts do have an agreement on this last point, at least, even though coaching and personal recommendations can differ based on the person's activity levels, body composition, or specific goals. If you are targeting muscle growth, then shoot for approximately 1.6 to 2.2 grams of protein per kilogram body weight each day. If you weigh 80 kilograms, 176 pounds, your daily protein intake should be between 128 grams, 176 grams of whey protein. Why such a wide range? This depends mostly on how hard you are training and whether you are in the bulking phase or the cutting phase. For those training at an advanced level or if you're in a calorie deficit and on a fat loss phase, but want to hold on to your hard earned muscle, then wherever possible, hit the higher end of the range. Either way, if you're just starting or bulking in a large surplus for mass gain, you may be able to get sufficient benefits from consuming low-end protein. First and foremost, let me remind you that more protein can sometimes only help build muscle up to a certain point. It doesn't mean that you will have huge muscles because the more protein you eat, more muscle build, higher levels also result in a higher percentage being converted to fat. If you paid more attention to hitting your baseline on a day-to-day -day basis instead of paying extra money for as much protein as you can, maybe just, maybe it would be better off. Long-term gains is what, in the end, drives consistency. In terms of muscle growth, protein timing is one of the most underlooked areas in nutrition. Most popular is the theory of consuming as much protein in one meal as you possible can, because if you aim to build muscle, that must be how it works, right? But now that latest studies have concluded, it turns out when you eat your protein is just as critical as how much. Protein should be spread out over the course of the day for optimal muscle protein synthesis, the process your body undergoes to build more muscle. Instead of consuming a massive serving of protein in one meal, aim to distribute your intake evenly across several meals. Ideally, aim for about 20 to 40 grams of protein per meal eaten every three to four hours throughout the day. 
This approach ensures that your muscles are constantly being fed with the building blocks they need to recover and grow. Post-workout protein consumption is also critical. After a tough training session, your muscles are like sponges, ready to absorb nutrients and begin the recovery process. Consuming a fast digesting protein source like whey protein within 30 to 60 minutes after your workout can maximize muscle protein synthesis and kickstart your recovery. Missing this window doesn't mean your workout was a waste, but consistently fueling your muscles post-workout will lead to better long-term results. Not all proteins are created equal. When it comes to maximizing muscle growth, the quality of your protein source is just as important as the quantity. The best proteins for muscle building are those that are considered complete proteins, meaning they contain all nine essential amino acids that your body cannot produce on its own. These amino acids are the building blocks your muscles need to repair and grow. Animal-based protein sources like chicken, beef, fish, eggs, and dairy are the gold standard because they are complete proteins and have a high biological value, a measure of how efficiently your body can use the protein. Among these, whey protein stands out as the fastest digesting protein, making it an ideal post-workout choice. Additionally, casein protein found in dairy products is a slow digesting protein that can be consumed before bed to provide a steady release of amino acids during sleep, one of the body's most critical recovery periods. For those following a plant-based diet, building muscle can still be very achievable, but it requires a bit more attention to detail. Most plant-based proteins, except for soy and quinoa, are incomplete, meaning they lack one or more of the essential amino acids. However, by combining different plant-based proteins, like rice and beans, you can create a complete amino acid profile. Plant-based athletes may also consider supplementing with a high-quality vegan protein powder, which can help bridge any nutritional gaps. Protein supplements have become a staple in the fitness world, but are they really necessary? The short answer is, it depends. Protein powders and supplements are designed to help you meet your daily protein requirements especially when it's difficult to get enough through Whole Foods alone. They are incredibly convenient, especially for people with busy schedules or those who need a quick post-workout protein hit. Whey protein is the most popular supplement because of its rapid absorption and high amino acid content, making it perfect for post-workout recovery. However, it's important to remember that protein supplements should be used as a tool, not a crutch. Whole foods like chicken, fish, eggs, and beans are packed with other essential nutrients, including vitamins, minerals, and fiber that protein powders don't offer. That said, if you're struggling to meet your protein goals or if you're looking for a quick, convenient way to increase your intake, protein supplements can certainly play a role in your diet. Just make sure they complement a well-rounded nutrition plan rather than replacing it entirely. While protein plays a starring role in muscle growth, it's not the only macronutrient that matters. Carbohydrates and fats are equally important for fueling your workouts, promoting recovery, and supporting overall health. Neglecting these macronutrients in favor of an overly high protein intake can actually hinder your progress. Carbohydrates are your body's preferred energy source, especially during high-intensity exercise like weightlifting. When you consume carbohydrates, they are broken down into glucose, which is stored in your muscles as glycogen. During workouts, your muscles tap into these glycogen stores for quick energy. After your workout, eating carbs helps replenish these stores, allowing for better recovery and more effective future workouts. Healthy fats, on the other hand, play a role in hormone production, most notably testosterone, which is crucial for muscle growth. Omega-3 fatty acids found in foods like salmon, chia seeds, and walnuts also have anti-inflammatory properties that aid in recovery and reduce muscle soreness. To build muscle effectively, aim for balanced meals that contain a healthy mix of protein, carbs, and fats. For example, a post-workout meal could include grilled chicken, protein, sweet potatoes, carbs, and avocado, fats. This well-rounded approach ensures that your body has everything it needs to perform, recover, and grow. Even with the best intentions, Many people make common mistakes with their protein intake that can limit their muscle building potential. One of the biggest mistakes is consuming too much protein at the expense of other macronutrients. While protein is essential, 
Eating excessive amounts won't magically build more muscle. Your body can only use a certain amount of protein for muscle building each day. Any extra gets used for energy or stored as fat. Another common mistake is relying too heavily on supplements. While protein powders are convenient, they shouldn't replace whole food sources of protein. Whole foods provide a broader range of nutrients that are essential for overall health and recovery. Additionally, some people fall into the trap of skipping post-workout meals, thinking they have already met their protein quota for the day. In reality, your post-workout meal is one of the most critical times to consume protein and carbs to kickstart the recovery process. Lastly, inconsistent protein intake can derail your progress. You need to hit your protein goals consistently day in and day out. Muscle growth doesn't happen overnight. It's the result of a continuous process of repair and recovery. Make sure your protein intake is part of a larger, consistent nutritional strategy. Protein is an essential piece of the muscle building puzzle, but it's only effective if used correctly. By understanding how much protein you need, when to consume it, and how to balance it with other nutrients, you can maximize your muscle gains. Whether you're just starting out or you're a seasoned athlete, these tips will help you use protein in the smartest way possible. Remember, consistency is key. Stick to a solid nutrition plan 